3D success, human resource management, activities to hire the right people for the job. This is brought to you by Celeste Norwood, Chad Wiz, Daniel Bowling, Kayla Murphy, Melvin Dendridge, and Patricia Linscourge. Hiring is a process of identifying a company's needs for new employees, planning to hire a new person, reviewing applications, and selecting among candidates. Then we can perform many pre-employment tasks and checks. The first activity is planning. Planning is a decision-making process that focuses on the future of the organization and how it will achieve its goals. Leslie, project manager at 3D Success, is working with head of human resources, Ron. They're forecasting for labor supply and demand how many employees they will need, and what abilities are required. Leslie decides to list a job for part-time, temporarily with full-time, long-term opportunities. This will give 3D Success flexibility to adjust for incoming workload and let them try out employees for the perfect match. When hiring new employees, we have two goals, getting the right people and maximizing performance and potential. Thank you, Ron. After everyone worked overtime last project, we knew it was time to hire more help for the team. The second activity is job analysis. It is the determination of the scope and depth of jobs and the required skills, abilities, and knowledge that people need to perform their jobs successfully. Leslie and Ron created job descriptions, list of job duties, and capabilities required for the positions, which explain the skills, experience, and education they'll be scanning for. The third activity is recruiting. It determines which candidate you want and entice them to apply. Leslie is at a job fair looking for new employees. She brought with her Andy, a long-standing, high-performing employee, blank applications, job postings, and information about 3D success, like their mission statement and what they produce. They meet promising candidates and get a lot of resumes. Please complete this job application and attach a copy of your resume. The final step is the selection. It applies appropriate selecting techniques and determine which one is the best for the job. After several interviews conducted by Ron and Leslie, they'll finally decide on two outstanding candidates and are stuck on two more. They only want to hire three. One had strong communication and interpersonal skills and the other had an impressive education background. What do you suggest, Ron? We'll bring them both back in for a second interview, then make an offer.